Hello my girls, gays, and everything in between. I'm Tyler Wells and I'm here again with a new video for you guys. So a year ago, I kickstarted my channel, my very first video, which was a get ready with me video where I did my makeup on camera and walked you guys through my makeup routine. But I can't watch that video without cringing. I actually took it down because I just couldn't bear to see it any longer. So I thought I would come on here and do a revised 2022 version where I show you guys my makeup routine, show you guys all the products I use because I feel like I've just gotten a lot better since that video. And I'll show you guys how I go from natural Tyler to snatched Tyler. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I have all the time in the world to do my makeup right now, which actually makes all the difference because if you're rushed, obviously your makeup's not gonna come out exactly how you want it. But since I don't have anywhere to be tonight, I can take my time and kind of show you guys how my makeup looks when I have the time to perfect it and get it just how I like it. And since I have all this time, I'm gonna start off by doing a face mask. I really like this Glow Juice Refining Enzyme mask by Earth Harbor. I got it in an Ipsy bag. You guys know I love trying new products and Ipsy always sends me five new products that I've never tried every month. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but Ipsy, if you're watching this, call me. No, it's just a great mask. It's one of the best I've ever tried. It really firms and tightens and you feel the pulling sensation. So while I wait for the face mask to dry for my lips, Laneige lip mask is a must so that my lips don't dry out during the process. This stuff is really, really, really great. Put it on before bed. I put this on at all times of the day. It just really helps hydrate and moisturize your lips. Also in the meantime, when I'm waiting for a face mask to dry, I like to put body lotion on. If I haven't said this before, I am a huge fan of Sol de Janeiro. They are a Brazilian company that has amazing body butters and all kinds of products, but they're mainly known for their body butters. And this one is the Coco Cabana in Coconut. It smells amazing. This one makes you glow like no other. Obviously, I like to be moisturized and I like to have a good scent on me every time I go out wearing this or any of their products. This one smells really, really good too. I always get asked, what scent do you have on? Okay, so I've gone ahead and rinsed off the face mask and as you can see, my skin looks really, really nice. My skin's been really, really good lately. So I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine right now. I already have a video of my skincare routine that's up. I'll put a link down below or on the screen so you can check that out if you want to do that so I'm not going to show my skincare routine on this video so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys after Voila. okay so I've gone ahead and did my skincare routine I also just put in the necessity lumify whitening eye drops because no one wants red eyes while you're doing your makeup. I've also changed out of my robe, which is probably a bad idea because powder will fall onto a black shirt. So if you're not super careful about that or if you're clumsy, I would keep a robe or a towel on. Now I'm going to prep by putting on this primer by Pixi and it makes you super highlighted and shiny, but not in a bad way. It just makes you look really glowy. Primer creates a barrier between your skincare and your makeup. And that's really important because you don't want to clog your pores with all that crap. Oh, hey, so I may or may not have lost an important clip in my video. So I have to reshoot it. Pretend this is part of the original video. Okay. So the first step in my makeup routine is brows. And I like to do brows first before foundation concealer because I would get all kinds of makeup and concealer in the brows when I style them. And it looks really cakey and disgusting. So I learned to do brows first. I'm gonna start off with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. I don't like to fill in my brows too much. I just like to underline them and fill them in where there's gaps in them. Okay, so I'm gonna start underneath my brows. Just like that. I don't like to start all the way over here. I like to line the top somewhere around here and just something like that. It's gonna look really scary and dark at first. But that's why we're gonna take the spoolie side and brush upwards.
See, they look really scary right now. They're gonna come together with concealer. For styling, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I really like the soap brow look, so that's why I use this product. If you don't like that look, this might not be the best product for you. I would recommend Benefit 24 Hour. That one is maybe a lot better for non-soap brow looks. So with this product, I would definitely recommend getting the applicator. You're going to take a pea-sized amount and you're gonna close the lid. Now, this is such an important part during the process and after you're done with your makeup. I've left the cap open accidentally and this thing will dry all the way out and you cannot use it after it dries up and it's pretty pricey. It's like 28, $27. So close the cap, then you are going to smear the gel on there like that. And you're going to take your spoolie side and rub it around and flatten it like that. And then you're just gonna start brushing up. Now, once you have it brushed up to your liking, you're gonna take your spatula side and you are going to flatten everything down to lock it in. Now I'd say they're pretty much done. Another tip I'm gonna give with brows is you're gonna wanna take a Q-tip and yes, it's clean. And just clean up the excess wax from around your brows because I've learned that the wax remains around your eyebrows. And then when you go to add concealer or foundation, it really clings to the residue and it shows and it's not a cute look. So just clean it up with a Q-tip and you're good to go to the next step which is foundation. So foundation, I have a love slash hate relationship with. I don't always use foundation because I do want to look as natural as possible. And especially when my skin is looking pretty good, I don't want to look too cakey. You know how foundation can make you look. So I've got a couple different options based on how I'm feeling. If I want kind of like a light look, I'll use this Yensa Super Serum Silk Foundation, which has vitamin C and E. It's just really, really good for your skin. Very light. I like this one a lot. But if I do want something a little more professional, I tried Il Maquillage. I believe that's how you say it. They are one of those products that come up when you're scrolling on Instagram. They made the process look really, really appealing. But I tried it out and I actually really like it. So I think I'm gonna go with the Yensa today. I'm gonna Take my little mirror, squirt some product on it. Il Maquillage came out with this brush. Mix it and then just kind of apply it. I still don't know if I have the right shade. It is a little more yellow and I have red undertones, I feel like, and it all comes together when I blend it. Now, also, sometimes I forget to take out my nose rings and I'm gonna do that and put it in after because I can't stand when makeup covers your nose piercing. Another trick is I put a little bit on my neck to cover up the five o'clock shadow from shaving, even though I just shaved today, sometimes it can be kind of dark. Once I've applied it, I'm just gonna take a wet beauty blender and blend it all in. So now you can see it just makes my skin look really nice. It really evens out my complexion and my tone. Just makes everything look more cohesive and pretty. I'm gonna move on now to concealer. So for concealer, I use Makeup Forever HD. I really, really, really like it. Messed around with a couple different concealers. This is my favorite so far. If you know of any other great concealers, I'd love to try them. So I first like to go in my corners of my eyes because I have really deep set eyes and I want to bring these babies out and with concealer you don't need too much and I learned not to apply it all over because you need to be able to blend it out over if you put product all underneath here there's no place for it to expand so I also like to hide my smile lines I like to lift up with my concealer Everything nowadays is about lifting up. You want your face to appear lifted. I put it here in the middle of my forehead. Call 
As you can see, I was very conservative with the amount of concealer I put on. It was one brush stroke for my entire face. Sometimes after blending this out, I will go back in and realize that I need more in a couple places. Next, I'm going to take my mini beauty blender for under eyes, which has helped tremendously. I used to use this huge thing, which works, but the mini ones are a lot more effective at blending. Okay, so concealer is done. As you can see, everything looks lifted and concealed to my liking. Now that we have concealed, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, and that is contour. So I have always been really fascinated by contouring. I've loved watching the Kardashians get contoured, Rihanna. I just love watching all those makeup tutorials that like Vogue does or Fenty Beauty does. And I actually am gonna be using the Fenty Beauty contour stick in the color truffle. Again, these are just the colors for my skin type. With contour, you want to start by lining it up with the edge of your eye and you don't want to put it here. I used to put it down here and that brings your face down. Everything's about lifting. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low. So you're going to do it right somewhere in between. Start here and you can go upwards like that that's pretty good placement and the same thing for this side line it up not too high not too low and go up from there i do my forehead so i like to do this shape i don't even know what you could call this you want to imagine the areas of your face that you would like to bring shadows to and hide so like your forehead or your chin i like to do down here smaller chin and then also if you do it underneath your lips it makes your lips pop out more for my nose i'm going to do one contour line there one contour line here and I have a bump right here on my nose so sometimes I'll go a little extra in that area. I like to hide the tip of my nose so I'm going to put it all down here. All the way down here and then if you want to achieve a button nose look you're going to circle it like this. And I know it looks really crazy. Now we're gonna get to blending and it's all going to come together. Let's get to blending and watch it all come together. This is what it looks like when all the contour is blended. Everything looks pretty defined. I feel like I just hide all the places in my face that I want to hide and illuminate all the places that need to be illuminated. Now, sometimes the nose contour can look really, really strong. So I usually go back and clean it up with the powder and baking process. For my cheeks, I learned to, once you contour, do a little bit of any kind of cream highlight or more concealer, just any kind of light. You wanna do it underneath your contour. Right here, right here, and I already did the sides of my nose, but right along the edges of your contour. And then you're gonna blend and putting concealer or any kind of cream highlight underneath the contour just makes your cheeks pop even more than they already were. Drag this upwards. It's kind of like a sandwich. You have highlight, contour, highlight, and it all just kind of makes your cheek pop. Also, the placement of the makeup and the contour and the highlight on my face is probably different than a girl because I do have a beard. I kind of have to work around my beard. Okay, so now that we have contoured and highlighted, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is baking. This is a process I didn't know how to do in my last Get Ready With Me video. I learned how to do this within the past four months, I want to say. I think it really, really, really improved the look of my makeup just all around. It made everything locked in more, if that makes sense. So what you're going to do, I have this transparent finishing 
finishing powder from MAC. You want a very fine powder, especially when you're putting powder underneath your eyes, because if you have a thick powder that's not fine like this, you can't really tell, but it's really, really, really fine. I just spilled it all over my desk. If you have a thicker powder and you put it underneath your eyes, any wrinkles you have underneath your eyes are going to show and it's going to be really powdery and cakey. For underneath my eyes, I like to press into my under eyes, go upwards into this area. And then once I pressed with the powder, I'm gonna do another layer of powder. And this time just kind of smear it going upwards like this. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath here. Basically all the areas that we just highlighted, we're gonna put a thick layer of powder over. Sides of the nose, right to the edge of the contour, down the middle, on the side. And so what baking does is it reflects the light where you want it to reflect and really makes a stark contrast between the contour and the highlight. I also like to take a it's in my eye, eyelash in my eye. I like to take a little bit and press it into my smile lines. Powder, no powder. And so once you have the powder in the places that you want it to be, you're gonna let that sink in for not too long, maybe another minute or so. And while I do this, and I like to take another powder, this Puff Puff Pass Set and Bake Powder. I used to bake my under eyes and this whole process with this powder that I received in an Ipsy bag, but this powder is a lot thicker and a lot less fine than the MAC powder that I used. I realized when I would bake underneath my eyes, the powder would sink into the crevices under my eyes that you can see right there, and it was really noticeable and it was not cute. While that sinks in, all this shine on my forehead has got to go. The Puff Puff Pass powder comes with a little, I don't know what you can call this, a bouffant. I'm just gonna clean up all that extra oil. Also, while I wait for this to set, I am going to get my concealer out again, get my mirror out again, and I'm gonna conceal underneath my brows. I'm gonna put some concealer on your mirror. I'm going to take a very thin eyebrow brush. This one is the Scott Barnes brush number 59. I'm gonna dab my concealer line underneath. Kind of like I did when I filled them in. It really just makes your brows pop. So I used to do the top brow all the way, but again, they look like drawn on eyebrows and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna do maybe like midway from here. And then I'm gonna take my mini beauty blender, just blend the concealer. We have one finished brow. Since my powder has been sitting for quite some time now, I am going to take this really fluffy brush and just brush off the excess. And so as you can see, this is what it looks like when all of the powder is blended out. Just ties everything in. It's a really nice touch to your makeup routine. So I'm really glad I started baking and I really, really like how it turns out every single time. Now that I have concealed one eyebrow, this is one concealed eyebrow versus the other one. It just looks a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal the other eyebrow. Also along this step, I think I'm going to put on some lip plumber and let that sink into my lips while I'm doing the other steps. It's really cheap and it really plumps the hell out of your lips. And so I'm gonna let that do its thing while I am finishing up the rest. Okay, so now that I have both eyebrows concealed, powder is wiped off, my lips are burning thanks to the plumper. I do like to add blush and I'll show you the areas where I like to add it. This is Ofra in the color Mai Tai. And you're gonna take a brush like this, go like that. When you add blush, you're gonna wanna add it right above where you contoured, kind of where you would put highlight. So I used to think you would put it down here, but you're gonna want it lifted, just like everything else, right above your contour. And see, it just like has a nice touch of color. My nose. 
Now, also, I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder for your under eyes. This just kind of hides any shadows that might be left even after concealer, and it really does a good job hiding everything and making it look super smooth underneath your eyes. I like to do my smile lines, and so see the difference? Works like a charm every time. For the last couple of finishing touches, I'm gonna take my Morphe Contour and Highlight Palette. I am going to take this color, which is Supernova, and it's a highlighter, and I'm gonna do a little bit right here, just to add more shine and add to that lift. And then I'm also going to mix a little bit of the two and put it on my eyelid to define it. I also like to take a little bit of the contour and put it on my eyelid just so that my eyelids are not super, super, super light. Just want to define it ever so slightly. Now I am going to put on bronzer. So this is Scott Barnes. Got to meet him a couple months ago. Love him. I'm gonna take a thick brush like this. Rub it in there with bronzer. You are gonna wanna do like we did for contour, but much more on the outside of the face. you look really nice and bronze. I like to do my ears. I like to do my neck. So you look at this. Yeah, no. You always gotta have your neck match your face. I like to go under here. And then for my hair, this is why I don't do my hair before I do my makeup, because I like to go like this. And really make sure it gets up in there, like blended into the hairline. And so now we look super tan and bronzed and all the places that need to be darkened are darkened and all the places that need to be lightened are lightened. Now, one of the last steps I'm going to do is take my highlight, Fenty Beauty, Hustla Baby. I'm going to load myself up with highlight. I like to do the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose. Then I'm gonna take a much smaller brush and do the corners of my eyes and do underneath my brows. Oh yeah, look at that. Do the tip. I'm gonna wipe off my lips because they're a little too red and they're plumping AF. So now that I've wiped off my plumper, they're nice and plump. I'm going to take a flatter, smaller brush and I'm going to take my highlight and I'm gonna highlight my Cupid's bow. So that really makes your Cupid's bow pop out. I am going to take my lip liner, which I really, really love. This is Makeup Forever in the color Aqua Lip. Line these babies up. Now that I've lined my lips, I am going to do my favorite part, which you guys know I love, and that is lip gloss. I have this Glossier lip color. I need a little color in my lips, so I'm gonna add this here, and it just makes them look vibrant, which I need. I need it to look vibrant, because look how they look when you smile. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put Too Faced Lip Injection. You can never have too much plumber. And for all those people who get lip filler out there, I, for a hot second, was worried that lip plumping lip gloss makes your actual lip filler go away faster. But I talked to the amazing woman, Cindy, who does my lips. I asked her if that was true and she said it's not. So you don't have to worry about that. And they just look really nice. So, now that the sun is going down and I don't have a beauty ring light, I'm gonna hurry it up before it gets dark. I'm gonna go back to my Brow Wiz brow pencil. And I like to go over the freckles I already have that have been covered in makeup and just enhance them. 
Also, another big secret of mine is I like to enhance the line of my beard. Now, my barber lines my beard up, obviously, when I go and get a haircut, but I like my beard line to look really pronounced, and I actually nicked a little part of my beard today when I was shaving, so I'm gonna show you guys a big secret of mine, so let's, let's just do it. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. How, How would they, they know? know? The last step I am going to do is mascara. So with mascara, I don't like to look too spidery. I just need to get rid of all the powder that has fallen on my eyelashes throughout the whole process. So I just got this brand new Ilia mascara and I got the small one because I don't use a lot. What I like about this mascara is it has a separator for your eyelashes. Instead of it just being like a regular brush, it separates your eyelashes and makes them look a lot cleaner and nicer. Like, look at that. In fact, last night I actually went to a friend's album, oop, a friend's album listening party. I actually went out for the first time without wearing makeup in a really long time in a social setting and just had on this mascara with my skincare and it looked really, really, really nice. Also, another secret of mine is I like to fill in the patches I have in my beard with mascara. Literally, you guys, I'm revealing all my secrets to you guys, so my whole life is out there on full display. All my secrets are out there. Okay, so for the very last step, I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray. Really, really, really like it. I don't usually get a dewy finish because I have really oily skin, so anything dewy can just make you look way too oily, but I really like this stuff. Okay, so because it's already dark outside, the lighting is shit, so I have to use my back camera and flash. But if anything, that's even better because you can see what it looks like with a flash and really kind of see that there's no flashback, which is all I care about. So thank you guys for watching as always. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and every time you guys like and comment a video, it really, really helps out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link all the products I used down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one.